Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. It is a repeat. I'm so sorry because you forgot to mute the the um the phone, the the cameras for the show on Facebook. So if you're joining us, so pardon me, people on uh Instagram. If you're joining us for the show first time, welcome here. I'm Perlene. And today we are doing a product showcase of some of the products we have at Baby Slings and Carriers as well as Baby Gates and Safety. So as you all know, during this period of time, a lot of people find that it's inconvenient to go out shopping with your little ones. Or maybe you are in a hurry, just want to get home quickly because after all, we are still at phase two pre phase three so there are a lot of um no no's here and there and we also have to limit people coming to our showroom and you don't have so much time to browse through the products and ask us any questions you want right so that's a fabulous time for you to find out a little bit more about the different products that we have we have uh lined up a couple of products per day for the product showcase is going on from the 19th of October to the 1st of November every day at 11 a.m. So we kicked it off with a pop-up sale on the 19th of October. So those people who have got the discounts are uh, Wow, very huge discounts, right? Not to worry if you haven't got anything from the show. We have our promotions right now on at Baby Slings and Carriers and Baby Gates and safety.com so check the deals out so today we're going to be showcasing a couple of products thank you if you're joining us for the first time we'll be having all of these videos posted on our youtube channel once these are gone by the next day for those of you who want to play catch up on the 20th of october we already have some videos you can actually take a look at the product that were being showcased already yeah and um today Let's get to the topic today. What are we going to do? We'll be doing stretch wraps. We'll be doing doll wraps. What are doll wraps? Why is it relevant to you? We will have um, two colleagues showing you. Oh, now you have all your fabric, your, your slings, wraps and carriers. How do you keep them clean so that they don't cause any problems in maintaining the quality? and uh, how green our detergents are so we are bringing all the products live to you on the show so that you can learn a little bit more and you can browse buy online and uh, these are all on special discount right on until the 1st of November online. Of course, you can come to our showroom to pick it up 9.30 to 5.30 every day except Wednesday, Sundays and public holidays. So for the product showcase, uh, we will have them ongoing all the way until 1st of November except Mondays, Wednesdays and Sundays. Without further ado, okay, first time you're joining us or even if it's repeat, Please help us like and share, okay? Thank you very much. First lineup. Oh, we have somebody sitting weirdly behind me. I'd like to invite our very special guest, Kilia. She's going to show us about her favorite uh, reps. Not my reps, but her reps. She's my daughter. She's six years old. And I'm going to get her on the show. She's going to talk to you and show you how to use a stretch wrap baby style. All right. Over to you, Kilia. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Kilia, and I'm going to show you how to use a doll wrap. Would you like to use that one over there? Or the no, I think. She said it can't be seen. This is a love radius of JPMBB doll wrap. It's just a brand. Ah, she says it's just a brand. Would you like to show everyone how to use it? Okay. And why do you like it while you're at it? You see here, down here, you see this. See the 
So you look for the center marker. Yes. She's wearing a dress for modesty sake. So put her dress down. <laughs> Yes, there's a cross at the back. That's good. So what are you going to do? I'm not going to do that today. That's why you are too tall to be. She's going to show you how easy it is to put on a stretch wrap, all right? It's a kid's child. You just, in case you're wondering, these are doll wraps from Jokota Mom BB or Love Radius. We have them on the website. If you like to get them for now, the Love Radius wraps doll wraps they are very easy to manipulate for a child it's especially useful if you are going to have another if you have a new baby and you have an older toddler or preschooler and you are up 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 that's what happens to me all the time all right and what happens is that i've got to get her something and it's really helpful you know because when you have an older child they really want to be involved with the baby either they disrupt you they ask you to carry because mommy mommy want to carry as well right Instead of doing that, get them a doll wrap or a carrier. We have them all on our website. They are on 10% right now. Okay. Please continue, Kilia. Put that the bottom one. Oops. Oops. The baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think my baby just broke a Thank goodness it's not a real baby. She says she thought she broke the bone. <laughs> Isn't that swell? So you think you're comfortable? You yeah, tell everybody how comfortable you are. Okay, you want to fight, you can fight it. All right. Okay. That's how it looks like a doll carrier. See, it's easy peasy. It also helps the child train their psychomotor skills as well, as well as to get them off your back, get involved with the baby. And there you have it, the Pokemon baby. Red. And now she's ready. I see that she's all. Are you all dressed up here? Yeah. yeah? Bye, Bye. 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 She's going shopping. Bye. So, uh, Kilia has shown you about the uh, doll wraps, how it's used. And now we have on the set one of our youngest baby wearing specialist fitter, Kira. She's going to show you how to properly use a stretch wrap. If you guys, if you have any questions at all about the stretch wraps, please feel free to ask uh, on our Facebook channels, of course, Baby Slings and Carriers and Baby Gates and Safety. Okay, and today we are going to showcase the Boba Wrap as well as the Love Radius Wrap. At the moment, they are all on 10% discount until, end of, uh, until the 1st of November. There we have it. Kira, uh, Kira can you please come on the show? Uh, thank you, Pauline and Kinia. Um, hi, everyone. I hope you're doing good today. <laughs> I will be showcasing two wraps. So like Pauline explained, they are the Boba wrap and also the Love Radius wrap. Um, both 
Okay, for wraps wise, stretchy wraps are all tied the same way. So um, I will just show um, how easily you can do it. I mean, for an adult, as if you've seen that Kia has tied her wrap very quickly and easily. Um, I will show you how, if you're an adult, this is how it's going to be done. Okay. So, so we will start with the middle uh, right. Okay. We'll start with the middle part of the wrap. And then we will scrunch it up the middle and I'll just put it underneath my chest. back. And then I'll bring it over my shoulders like a butterfly. So what you should see at this point that you should have a cross at the back. Okay. You bring it over your shoulders. You don't want to spread it out open too wide as well because if it's too wide, then it gets a little bit difficult. Okay. So I'll give it a quick tug. Put everything to a ball. And I'll just toss it through the middle. So at this point, you'll probably need to make sure that the line is nice and snug because this is a um, this wrap, this stretch is very, very forgiving. So you need to make sure that it's nice and snug because you're going to have to squeeze baby in with your own. Okay, so I am a right-hander, so I will put the right side over the left. I'll cross it, bring it to the back, and then tie it back at the front. So I'll do a snap that way. So for the bottom part, um, it doesn't really matter how many rounds you would like to tie it across. Um, if you want to tie it back, that's fine as well. You can bring it to the front and tie a fancy little bow if you still have quite a fair bit of top left over. So you should just do it something where it's kind of comfortable. As you can see right now, I will have three panels on the top. So I have my first panel, my second panel, and then the third one should be the one in the middle. Okay. Now I'll show you with... Um, so it's all that I have. All right, so just now I've mentioned that I have put the right side over left because I'm a right-hander. So usually for right-handers or left-handers, they usually put it on the side of their master hand. So they will put it in the side of their master hand. That I will do similarly on the right side. And then I'll have my inner panel inside here. So I'll go over the leg. And you just wrap onto the edge, stretch it all the way across the back side. Okay. And then I will lower the knee to the middle. So it should go all the way across to the other side of the knee. It's a little bit hard to see here. Okay. So all the way to the other side of the knee. And then I'll take my next panel. So at this point, most people would, um, if they panic, usually they'll grab onto the leg. So you'll try not to do that because we don't want um, anything happening over there. Okay. So stretch it underneath the leg. And then after that, you'll grab the edge and then pull it across to the other side. So all the material should meet around the neck over here. And then the material should be stretched across the knees. So for your last panel, where would you get it from? If you can see the cross at the back over here, if I would just grab one side of the cross, go under the other side, and then I'll see my logo back again in the middle, stretch it all the way on top. Okay. For the hands, I can adjust my hands now, and I'll put them around just top over here. Okay. And then I'll stretch this out for um, better weight distribution. And if it's too much, I can always hold it back in. So you can see that the wrap is actually very, very snug on me, and it's very, very comfortable. So I can't really feel where the weight exactly is. So it's very well, I would say that for wraps, uh, probably give the most optimal support. So this is actually perfect and wonderful if you have a very small baby at home. Um, it's very good for, um, newborns and especially in their early days usually people are wondering what kind of um carry should they get if they were to um chase one so this one is very good for early days some people do buy it before babies born so you need to the babies out and just carry them inside because this um this works for every shape and every size 
So um, because it's so flexible, it's just one long piece of wrap and then you would just tie it on. Um, you can use it for very small babies. Yeah. Uh, see that we have a question here. Or, okay, love the stretchy wraps. Yeah, I love the stretchy wrap as well. In fact, I would say that's probably one of my favorites. Um, if I were to have a child later on, and I would definitely get a stretchy wrap because I feel like it's so easy to use actually. Because for stretchy wraps, there's only one way of tying. And I like the size wraps. I don't really need to um, cater to that specific size. I can share it with um, my partner or other caregivers as well. So you just tie it on, very simple, sweet baby in. And maybe now I'll show you how to take baby out. So taking baby out is just as easy as putting baby in. All I need to do is grab the, the middle layer and take it out. So I'll sort of reverse it. Go for the second layer. All right, remember underneath baby's legs. And for the last part, not to worry, you just put your hand on the upper back, one hand on the buttocks. Okay, and then you let baby's weight move into your hands. Push baby up on your shoulder, and baby is up. Okay, then from here on, then you can just put baby down, or if you need to change, baby can change baby first. And the thing about the stretchy wrap is that um, people commonly ask this question is that, do I need to retie it before I put baby back in? No, you don't have to because it's so stretchy that after you take it out, you can just put it back in. Okay, so you can put baby back in after that. So I would say that the stretch wrap is a wonderful if you're having, if you're using it at home, just like the ring sling, similarly to the ring sling. Um, the wrap is actually very good for home usage because there are no buttons and you can like sit down. Um, especially when you're holding a baby, you're tight, you're not like seat. Yeah, you can sit down because there are no buckles in the back, so it doesn't press into your back or anything like that. Do you want to add on anything? No? She's asking me whether I want to add on anything, she's still she's hosting, right? Uh, anyway, uh, so what's your favorite then? I mean, what's your favorite stretch dress? I, I mean, there are so many stretch dresses in the market, why? That is true. Is, okay, so is there any difference? There actually sure is a reason as to why I have had, I brought two wraps with me today. So this one is the Boba wrap, like I'll mention again, and this one is the Love Radius wrap. Okay, so for these two, I would say that it's very good for um, if you're a beginner at stretch wraps, it's your first time handling a stretch wrap, and maybe it's still very small. Okay, the reason being that these two stretches, uh, the stretch is actually very, very forgiving. As you can see, it's very, very easy for you to tie it on. Okay, and this one's I would recommend for first-time users and for very, very small babies. Okay, so we have, there are so many stretch wraps out there, which one would you choose? Um, I would say that wraps, there are also many different types. Other than stretchy wraps, we also have woven wraps and all those, but the reason why we go for stretchy wraps first is because it's actually very easy because you have you can free tie it first and squeeze baby in after. Okay, so um, I would say that for usually for beginners, sometimes we find it a little bit difficult to pull, especially if the stretch is a little bit stronger. What I mean by stronger is that although stronger stretchy wraps can actually allow you to carry baby for a lot longer, you can carry them when they're um, a bit older, can be up to two or three years old even. And for wooden wraps, it can go a lot longer because you know it's not it's not really stretchy. So why doesn't it go up to six? <laughs> Even though it's very wonderful for first and um, for early days when you're carrying your newborn, um, stretching wraps after a while, maybe when you reach about up to about a year or year and a half, usually you find that it will start to droop a lot because it actually mimics how um, baby would be inside the womb. So um, if when baby is inside the room, it's like very bouncy. So when you when you walk, it's very easy to calm baby down. So when um, you know in the middle of the night, baby's fussing, you can easily put baby back into the wrap, and then you just walk around. The baby will come down usually very fast. Okay, we have actually a lot of customers with very fussy babies, and they find that the wrap works wonderfully for both of them. Okay, and that, that's the reason as to why I would introduce these two wraps for you. So if you're a first time user and you would like to explore wraps, these two are great. So um, 
Yeah, I think they are really yeah. fantastic wraps to start with and they are very, very affordable. How much does it go for for the Bobo wrap? Um, okay, so for the Bobo wrap, there are several types. The one that I'm using right now is the uh, normal, cotton, normal cotton one. Okay, so the normal cotton one can go um, for solid colors is $69.90 before discount. So it's a very, very good price, if, especially if you're starting out. Some people um, don't want to spend too much money at the start because they like to try it out, have um, a feel of how it goes because there are actually many wraps that go for a lot higher prices. Like, for example, if you were to go for a woman wrap right away, that would be, um, some people will find that, oh, wow, it's very pricey. Like, could go up to easily a few hundred dollars. Okay, so for this Bupa wrap, it comes at a very good and um, affordable price for something that is um, so easy to use and so um, something that you really find yourself using. Okay, so this one $69.90 for the Just solid so that you know, I kind of use it as a low cost wrap. I think it's very important. I think at that kind of price, you can add it on as uh, part of your childcare or, or baby care uh, essentials I would say because a lot of times we all have carriers, buckle carriers because that's the toys carriers for most of us, buckle and go, everybody likes it, daddy loves it because it's like um, well very structured and um, just, can I say just no-brainer but actually this is pretty much a no-brainer as well but it also helps um, babies to feel more comfortable because of the way it goes around the baby's uh, weight as well as shape. So the weight distribution is superior. And it because it like Kira pointed out just now, uh, the cranky babies get soothed and so on, they actually become a very, very important part of the childcare essentials. I would say baby care essentials. I will always keep one at home. When the child is not feeling well, the baby is not feeling well, I find that even the skin to skin, it works fabulously well and because of the slight bounce it actually helps them feel a lot more comfortable different people have different takes as to woven wraps because she mentioned about woven wraps different takes about woven wrap versus stretch wraps personally i feel that the stretch wraps work best especially for newborns even though i'm a woven wrap user as well but uh i always feel that stretch wraps stretch wraps firstly they are a lot more affordable for early days you can always try it out and figure out if that the wrap actually works for you because a lot of times newborns uh, parents will be thinking I don't want to use for so long. Some people will say I want to use for very very long and uh, can I just invest in a wrap that lasts forever? Uh, unfortunately, if you're going to get something that you're going to have troubles, the learning curve is a little bit more steep. Then you might find yourself not using it, and that's that kind of defeats the purpose. This one needs no breaking in. That's why um, we're talking about the Boba wrap as well as the Love Radius wrap. The Love Radius is also was previously known as a Jopotomon baby. It's slightly sturdier. The Boba wrap starts from $69.90 to $79.90. The Love Radius or JPM BB basic wrap starts uh, is at a flat price of what $89.90 or $99.90, depending on whether they have prints. And what's more, Best time to shop is now till 1st of November on our website. Other days, they are very uh, reasonably fairly priced, good for add-ons, good as the first carrier or wrap. But uh, if you want to get them and you are watching us now, best time to get them because they are 10% off right now, okay? And if you've got any any more questions, yes, you want to say something? Um, for the most previous wraps, what would the price range? I don't know. Eighty nine ninety, there's ninety nine ninety, yeah. With all the discounts, so and the, yeah, uh, ten percent off for all the wraps, the normal price wraps that are not. Yeah, wrapped. please yeah. show us like and share uh, the news. Your friends will be really thankful. If you they miss it, no worries. They can actually go to our Facebook and then they still can watch the videos. But on top of that. We have them on our YouTube videos in the next uh, one day. So if you want to pay catch up for our product showcases, we'll be keeping it there for a while. I'm not too sure whether it's going to be taken down later on. But if you want us to bring our showroom to your desktop at a convenient time for you to watch, you can always go to our YouTube to check it out. Or if you go to our webpage, 
baby slings and carries with us yeah baby slings and carries.com and baby gates and safety.com you will see the banner with which says the latitude sale click on that you should be able to see a lineup of events not just today but for the next couple of days that we have for the sale specially put up for you and uh you can actually also watch the replays by clicking on the links if you missed out okay Yesterday's, uh, I've been just been informed that yes, uh, my Tuesday's product showcase is already on the website, and you can just click it up there. Okay, and thank you very much, Kira, for right. thank you so much telling us about your favorite wraps. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then I'll just add on one more thing. So if if you've been thinking about getting wrap, I would one hundred percent recommend for um for you to go for it. So um, you see this is a sign that maybe you should. Start <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, Kira. And now, uh, since we are on the topic of wraps, right, it's something close to your body and so on. You might find that uh, you may need to wash it a little bit more frequently than your baby carriers because um, they are not as close to your body. There's less close to your body. And uh, we have next. We'll be talking about how do you wash your wraps, slings, and carriers. We here in uh, baby slings and carriers, there are particular detergents that we use. We recommend 100% biodegradable and plant-based. Impossible because of eczema problems in kids these days. And if you've got chemical washes, of course, I'm not saying that it's causal, but uh, personally, I would not want to put chemical uh, things near to my baby skin, especially if I wear them the whole day. So we have up next um, Michelle and Charlene, if they are ready to come on the show to share with us a little bit more about our favorite laundry detergents and how do they keep clean everything disinfected, uh, especially when you use a carrier. Do you wash your carriers or your slings or wraps after each use? I know now your kids are big older, so you might not clean them up so often. But how do you keep mm. them clean? Good question. COVID, you know, and then you wash them like weeks later or months ah, later. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exposed to me. I'm worse. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my carriers only wash like, you know, I don't know. But yeah, sometimes, sometimes um, we, you know, uh, I mean, before the whole COVID thing, you know, we go out more. But even if the carriers stay at home, I realize they get grubby after some time. Oh. You know, dust accumulates okay. and stuff. Okay. Um, That's because I hung it over my high chair to my shock. I was like, and my I'm high chair was never used. I don't long. even bother to check. <laughs> so after I dump it in for a wash, and it comes out, it's like, it's like brightened, like, ah. like um, you know, usually in commercial detergents, they always emphasize like um, optical brightness and stuff like that. Ah. But the thing is, I have two daughters, and one of them is um, exceptionally sensitive. Okay. To anything chemicals, uh, something, things that are not supposed to be on the skin. Okay. Probably okay. like sulfates and stuff. Hmm. Not supposed to be on the yeah. skin. Good question. What are optical brightness? Optical brightness are uh, basically. Um, I'm not going to go into the chemistry of it, but it's just a chemical that is that uh, works into the fabric to make it look the colors more vibrant oh, okay, and okay. looks cleaner. But it looks cleaner, but it may not be cleaner because the chemicals may. Uh, remain as a as a residue inside the cloth actually, oh, which we cannot see with the naked eye. So of course we are not saying that uh, it will cause major problems, but personally we feel that something that's some chemical content and you have it on the fabric and it's always rubbing against us. These days we see and we hear a lot more people talking about eczema problems in yes. kids as well as adults. It doesn't just affect kids, all right? We are all human beings with skins, yeah? And we have uh, Charlene too on the show. Charlene. <laughs> sorry, sorry for today me. all like you know because we are a little bit rushing today oh, i don't know why we are all rushing because there are a series of things happening a lot you, if you hear all the ting tong ting in the background you know uh do you want me to okay, shake the camera okay please don't fall over again <laughs> i'm scared okay so can everybody we're going to shift it to our demo table Ah. Sorry, yeah. Uh. Sorry, guys. I hope you guys can see, okay, but the no. camera no cannot see the table no, at all. Cannot. Can I see the top? Of the, table? the top of the table only. Oh, 
Uh, yep, yep, it works now. Okay, shift more to the left. Shift more to the left. Okay, then. Woo! Who's left? No, My left or Yeah, yeah, it's left. correct. Oh. It's okay. Okay. My left. My left, my left. Your left, my left. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay, eh? okay, I hope you guys can see a bit better. I'm so sorry because we got these lights, huh? especially for this show. It didn't work out on our first day and, and we had a lot of trouble second day. And then this is the first time and they get to use it for so, so long. Over to Michelle and Charlene. Okay. Um... Next up, we have, what are we doing? <laughs> we are doing <laughs> Rocking Green. Uh, we are doing Rock, blah, blah, blah. Rocking Lock Green. green. Rocking. Locking. Locking. Rocking Green uh, Biodegradable and Hyperallergenic uh, Laundry Detergent. Uh, we usually don't say like, oh, it's just baby seeds. Maybe it's not true. Uh, in general, we um, love this detergent so much because it's 100% plant-based. Like I mentioned, also 100% biodegradable and it's super hyperallergenic because there are zero chemicals inside and they only use uh, all natural materials, even up to the bag. Uh, they're so nature friendly. The bag is biodegradable. Yes. Yes. So that's why sometimes if you buy our rocking green, right, you see that the words are a bit like, you know, the going on the packaging. Like dying off. Nothing wrong with the packaging, it's just that it's biodegradable. Very okay. environmentally friendly. So there are there are two different ranges. This one cannot send me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if it's hard, also no problem with it. It's just that it oxidizes. That's why it becomes a little clumpy. So all you have to just, uh, what we do is we smash it on the floor. Uh, but okay, there's nothing wrong with the powder. So the classic range is just a normal, their normal range of biodegradable detergent, which is uh, good for our water type in Singapore as well. That's some of the questions we have sometimes. Safe for sensitive skin, uh, also for your children, there's no sulfates inside. Actually, if you research deeper into sulfates, sulfate is usually the number one of, uh, number one cause of like skin and hair problems. Sometimes you have hair fall, uh, hair loss, and you have skin irritation like eczema or like light mouth psoriasis, sor I don't know how you pronounce it, but psoriasis or something. So you know, usually sulfates are one of the elements that, I mean, besides diet and stuff, uh, sulfates yes. are and parabens are uh, a great factor right. that plays in uh, skin sensitivity. Skin All right. Uh, also, just one extra footnote: they are also cruelty free, so that's a bonus, uh, basically. All right. So, what is different between the so-called normal range, which is good for classic series, yes. yeah. series, in four different three Set. cents and one one cent actually. <laughs> All right. So this one there's. Ro uh, what is smashing watermelon? Smashing watermelons. We have the watermelon mint. And um, this one is the sea breeze. Correct. Okay. Yeah, so cute, right? And the unscented one, of course. So this is just for your everyday laundry. It works perfectly fine. And also, they also have the platinum, platinum series. Okay. You can see the packaging is also different. So for the platinum series, there are two different kinds, which is one is dirty diapers. So if any cloth diapering mummies are here with us now, this is perfect for your cloth diapering uh, nappies. It's specifically designed to target and um, the, yeah, any enzyme, uh, bacteria <laughs> in the feces or the, the, the urine, basically. Uh, nevertheless, you still have to strip. So if you know about stripping, go for the Grovia, um, uh, what do you call it? My bubbles, bubbles, which are stripping pots. And then on top of that, for the daily wash, use this. So make sure you clear all the enzymes and the bacteria that are present in your baby's food and pee. Okay, let me be very straightforward. All right, so and also they add in tea tree oil, so it kind of smells really nice in the beginning. And tea tree oil is also known to have antibacterial properties. Then we have active wear. For those of you that also do a lot of, uh, like wear a lot of sports wear, like um, dry fit, dry dry fit, fit uh, uh, anything that's spandex type of material. Yeah, you know your yoga pants and stuff? Yes. So this is perfect. Okay, um, this range of course is slightly more expensive because of its special properties and also it also contains a, a filled fiber enzyme that means like when you perspire, we actually excre excrete a lot of bacteria and germs there's as well. Question. There's a question. Ah, I can't see. Okay, how 30. How do I buy this? Okay, ah, 30. Okay, okay, how do I buy this? I can't see. Sorry. <laughs> My phone is somewhere around here. Uh, hi, Eppley. Thank you for joining us. Oh, yeah. For those of you who just joined us already with us, right? please help us like and share. I think this will be very useful for parents around us. to get to know uh, some of the products that are available in the market. 
okay. and these are the products that so, we actually stand by because uh, we actually use it ourselves. Okay, for the uh, Rocking Green series, they're available on both our sister label websites, which is babyslingsandcarries.com and babygatesandsafety.com. So go there, go to our little tab where it says our brands, or uh, you can shop by uh, product group, mm -hmm. and then go to Rocking Green, and then you find the whole entire series there. We also do them in bundles, so it's slightly cheaper for you guys. Uh, okay, where was I? Eh? Thank you, Ethley, for your question. <laughs> All right, so. For this active wear, uh, like we were mentioning earlier on, if you have a lot of gym clothes, dry fit, uh, all the spandex, even swimsuit, all this kind of, this is very, very suitable. It will extract all the bacteria and germs that you usually excrete through your perspiration or uh, any other kind of bodily fluids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but okay. one thing about the active wear as well, if you have clothing that has this distinct smell already, maybe it's because mm -hmm. over time, Right, you have been just washing it regularly, as you know, but the, the the smell or the odor hasn't actually been removed. This actually removes it. Um, okay, maybe the first wash won't be that fast. Maybe by the second or the third wash, definitely the the odor is gone. Um, I tried it on my husband's dry fit. It actually works very well. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um. I used to have this problem that when I washed the laundry and didn't dry properly for some reason, or like maybe I didn't put the dryer setting properly or hang, hang dry it and it was like it was raining, raining or something. Yes, yeah, this very drying. Very icky, musty. There's this smell. a musty, disgusting smell. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so that's, those smells are actually uh, caused by bacteria and leftover chemicals in our clothes, which a lot of people do not realize. But it, once I started using this, even if it didn't dry properly, it actually didn't smell afterwards. All right, so what I do to save money and to make the laundry more effective, I use mix. one of this and I'll mix one scoop of this. But if you have a front load, it's half a scoop and half. half a scoop of this. So one pack, if you have a front loader, is worth 90 mm -hmm. loads of laundry. So even if you wash laundry every single day, this small tiny pack can last you three, three months, months at yeah. least. We all, we take two packs, uh, we more than six months enough. I mean, um, for me, like, okay, for she her. Run, uh, okay, for her. Okay, for her. A lot in the family. So for us, okay. one packet would last me, because mine is a top load. Mm -hmm. So for me, roughly, it will last about two months. So about 60 days. So it's about 60, uh, yeah, for one packet. Okay, so if I'm mixing, of course, it, you know, extends the life a bit. So, okay. We have said all the good stuff about Rocking Green. Um, well, before we even brought it into our showroom, we tried it ourselves. We loved it, and that's the only reason why we brought it in. So, um, I think action speaks louder than words. So, today is an actual special showcase. We are going to be giving you a little demo with my daughter's <laughs> smelly school shoes. Let me come closer so you can see how grubby it is. Ugh. I don't even want to touch it, actually. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go near. Okay, the light makes it look slightly more cleaner than it actually is. Maybe I should like tone down the light a little bit. Okay, can you see? Eee, can you see? And then look, look on the inside. Look, it's so disgusting. It's all gray and look, can you look? This is all reflective parts and it's supposed to be kind of bright and clean. Look at the, I can't really see it. Ah. Okay, the camera don't focus, but can you see all these like grayish, brownish parts? This one's same lah. Okay, so as you know, our kids' school shoes, especially the whiter ones, they get super disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna put it brighter again. So what are we? What we're gonna do now is, one second, I'm gonna get my hot water. Okay, so. Let me move the whole thing so you can actually see. It is in the middle. Hot water. Okay. So, this here is just normal room temperature water. So, we're going to put just a little bit of rocking cream inside. Okay. So, for this amount, usually I use a, a tiny pail to soak your very disgusting shoes inside. Okay. So, I usually put, this is a, uh, what do you call it? It's a travel pack actually. So, if you go on my, you can see. Um, how much is it? Loads. Yes, <laughs> right. There's two scoops of laundry detergent inside. So it's, if you can imagine the amount of concentration that goes into one scoop of this detergent, uh, looking at this small pack, you know its cleaning power is really, 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 really great. All right, so I'm not going to put too much. 
not sure where you can see. I'm just going to straight I cannot see it. Because the table is wet. So I'm going to put like half a spoon. Not, not even half a spoon, but slightly less than half a spoon. Okay? This is more than enough. So I'm going to bring the this one. Yeah. Look. It's a very thin, teeny, tiny layer of rocking green, which <coughs> I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Should I take a stick or something? I don't know. I just oh, no cloth also. <laughs> okay, take this for you. Oh, thank you. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. All right. So make sure the rocking green is dissolved and stuff. There we go, and I'm going to add a little bit of hot water so it gets kind of slightly more than warm. Thank you. I think we stand by that one. So I'm going to add hot water. Now I was saying, I hope my shoe doesn't float up because usually that's what it does. And let me see. Let me take this one now. This one is not the... Okay, I'm going to scoop some. <laughs> It's hot. Yeah, I want to dry my shoe, right? Dry. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, you just do it. I try. Okay, we're going to soak this shoe for the next like 20 minutes and then we're going to take it out and show you guys the results. Okay? Compare it to this shoe and I show you. And then in the meantime, while I'm doing this, Charlene will be talking about another product and then later on we'll come back to the results of this shoe that is soaking in the active wear laundry detergent. Over to you, Charlene. I'm very busy with my shoe now. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay, today, um, okay, as Michelle has introduced, I'll be talking about our um, disinfectant that we have been using as well. Okay. Um, if you see here, this is uh, water. Okay. It's actually a chemical-free and alcohol-free disinfectant. Okay. I think, I don't know whether you can see properly. Hi, okay. Celia. All right. Okay, what the, this product actually, why is it um, chemical-free and um, alcohol-free? Is because this is um, through electrolysis. What do you call it? Electros reverse, uh, reverse, reverse osmosis. osmosis. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, my science also a bit not here, really. Okay, anyway. So through reverse osmosis, it actually produces this chemical called, uh, this, it's not the chemical, it's uh, HOCl. Okay, HOCl in, uh, okay, in technically, okay, it actually exists from our white blood cells. So it's actually the one that helps prevent, uh, boost up our immune system. Okay, so this one they have actually made into the disinfectant, um, you, uh, okay, so this one is the pink one. The pink one is mom and baby. And the blue one is actually hand and body. Okay, the difference between the two, most people will be asking, what's the difference? Okay, mom and baby is meant for kid, uh, babies below two years old. Okay, because this is slightly not as concentrated as the blue one, although still as effective as the blue one. Okay, it's just a milder because... Um, once you spray onto certain, whether it's the bench sheet or whether on onto the baby's hands or what, you will smell this distinct sort of chlorine smell. Okay, this chlorine smell actually is the one, uh, which means there is bacteria on whatever item you actually sprayed it on. Okay, we also have what we call the humidifier. Okay, so this one, you just basically plug it on to any USB outlet and then just turn it on, it will have this white smoke coming out. Okay, this one actually helps remove odor from um, a bedroom or in the living room. But usually I use this one in a confined space, uh, so it's either a bedroom or in the toilet. <laughs> okay? I think you all know why in the toilet, right? Okay, so anyway, let me go back to the mom and baby. Okay, so this particular pink colored one it comes in the bottle form uh, but sorry we ran out of the small one and then in a refill pack so you can just buy one of these one and this one so you can just top up as you go along 
Okay, so you don't, you don't need to keep on buying the spray bottle itself. Okay, water is very child friendly one. Okay, so this particular pink series one, I initially bought for my Tatanj. He was just very 18 months old. Uh, he was using this, but I realized that, okay, maybe getting the blue one would make more sense because he's growing up anyway. And the blue one, okay? The blue one I currently use on my dogs as well. Okay, this really... Sorry. Sorry about the doorbell, guys. <laughs> We're super busy today. Yeah. Okay. All right. So as I was saying, okay, the blue one I use practically everywhere. Bed sheets, um, my dogs, on my dogs, as, okay, directly on my dogs. Then as we disinfect ourselves, hands and because of the whole COVID issue, right? So I have been using this, carrying it around. Um, I also use this to actually... Disinfect my high, my uh, my son's high chair, the baby carrier. Okay, if you've seen it here in our showroom, we actually use this to actually disinfect every after fitting. So yeah, and then everyone that comes in our door, we actually disinfect them as well using this one because this is really very safe. Okay, and I, okay. By the way, I also use this to disinfect my handphone. Okay, Hi, every day. Yeah. Uh, so there is a there is a question somebody asked if babies use the water is that how you pronounce it? Water, water. disinfectant. <laughs> yeah. Water disinfectant and put their hands inside the mouth. Is it safe? Yes, it is very safe. Why? Okay, once you have sprayed it on after the the chemical reaction with the bacteria, this product turns into water and salt. Okay, as we all know, water or seventy percent water. Right? Salt is something we take in from food, from even from fruits. Alright? So it is very safe. It, no matter how accidental they actually put their hands into their mouth, this is very safe one. Okay? I hope I was able to answer your question. Okay? Alright. Um for the water, it's both available in both on our website, baby gates and safety and baby stays and carriers. I, as Michelle earlier explained on how to actually search through our website, you go to our brands or you can do a product category search and find water. We actually come, uh, we also have bundles in this, so you can just check it out. Uh, or if, I think currently it's on 10% off. Yeah, single yeah. items on 10% off, but the bundles but are already discounted, so uh, if you want to go for a bigger bundle, then go for that. I think it would be nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so trick, uh, if you're oh, watching this, you, you get it. Okay, FYI, one big bottle roughly lasts for me and my family. I have seven, yeah, five kids, not seven kids. <laughs> five kids plus two adults, right? So we roughly go through a bottle a month. This big bottle one. Okay, so if this package, we, it's about roughly about two of this. Uh, there's a question, Charlene. What, what is in the ingredients list? The ingredients list. Okay, let me. Sorry, yeah. Okay, it's pure water and iodized salt. That's it. It's inside the label. Alright, so you can actually check it out as well. Okay, that's it. That is the ingredient for both. So what it actually disinfects are, okay, it kills 99.9999% of harmful bacteria, germs, viruses, including pathogenic microorganisms. Okay, it eliminates odor, odor, as I told you earlier on. <laughs> odor. My dog has this particular body odor, so whenever I I start smelling him a bit, I spray maybe two whole rounds of his body. You can definitely smell the chlorine after, and then once it dissipates, you can't. I can't smell the dog smell really. Okay, it also works very well on dog. Pee. Okay, as you all know, when dog pee, uh, the the stink it leaves onto the the flooring, right? It's it's stuck there. No matter how you wash it, no matter how you clean it, it's there. So whenever I spray this one on it, it actually removes the slight odor and he kind of forgets where his usual pee area is. Okay, so okay, 
uh, let me go back. Okay, cleanses. So it is uh, so it's gentle, effective, and convenient. It can be used as a day-to-day -day cleanser for skin surfaces and wounds. Okay, so if you have cuts, uh, not really very big open wounds, uh, but those like abrasions, uh, you can actually use this one to spray on it, and then it will actually rip, um, disinfect that area. Then you can actually, if you all would like to put on plaster, like, just put on a plaster, don't need to put anything else. Or um, if, you're ha if you have sensitive skin, like eczema, uh, okay, you know when eczema attacks, right? It's red, it's itchy, and um, sometimes it's flaky as well. So when once we uh, you spray this one on it, it actually uh, lessens the inflammation. Okay, so the red the the reddening lessens, and the itchiness uh, the itchiness lessens as well. <laughs> Sorry, okay, <laughs> chinning. Okay, just like to add on for the. Sometimes you call it the voodoo spray. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like a magic spray because if let's say outside and we don't have access uh, to water or anything. Just spray this, wipe it off, you know, uh, let the, you know, let them, let the water um, kill off the bacteria and germs. Um, I would say it's not exactly a cleaning um, solution, but it's definitely disinfecting. Uh, it's also good for uh, eczema users or anybody with sensitive skin. Um, recently, we actually had a customer walk in and we saw his, his hands were all peeling. And when it works, you know, you have to, outside, when you're outside, usually they provide the sanitizers and they're like alcohol based. Ex, um, an X percentage of alcohol. Alcohol dries out the skin and it's super bad. And if you have eczema and the skin is on the hand area, you're going to suffer a lot. So we would highly recommend uh, this water disinfectant if you have, um, even if you don't have sensitive skin, don't make it sensitive. So use something that is really kind of free based. Um, okay, Michelle and I were just chatting, I think, yesterday or the day before, and um, there was a lot of, uh, I don't know whether you've seen it on the news as well, there's been a lot of kids poisoning because of the hand sanitizer, right? So, I mean, if you, for us as parents, we want our kids to be very safe. So, getting this range of disinfectant would actually lessen that worry because we're already worried about the COVID. Or what germ is out there now with the dengue also coming around of course we wanted to lessen the stress on parents so we do really stand by these products so we recommend that you really take a look on this range of disinfectant because uh definitely it can i can tell you 100 percent you lessen your worry on whatever whether they accidentally spray it in their mouth or what i mean it happens kids touch things in their itchy hands okay so this is something I would rather have at home and I know that it's safe rather than there is a, yeah, there you have a, uh, what disinfectant out there and then it's at home and then your kids accidentally touch it or play with it. I mean, it happens. And something we would definitely want to avoid. Okay, so just to let you know, for the mom and baby one as well, you can actually use it, everything on whatever baby items you have, like baby cots, Play pens, uh, bed, their bed, their cut sheets, their pillows, okay, their stuff toys, um, high chair, baby carrier, or the car seat, strollers, okay. I actually spray my strollers with this one as well. Okay, I have a question. Can you use it for disinfecting pacifier when you're outside? Um, it's not that we know of, but Certified, it's but certified, testing. but we haven't oh, had anyone ingestion. Yeah, it is certified for ingestion one. So, okay, my yeah, colleague yeah. Berlin already said, uh, okay, it is certified for ingestion. So, you actually spray it on your pacifier, right? Let it dry out first uh, before you actually put it inside your mouth. Uh, but, okay, I mean, literally, you don't, you don't spray too much on the pacifier as well. Just spray a bit to so actually, this, especially when you're outside in. Passive drops on the floor. Okay, it's something you can actually use when there's no water available for you to wash it. Okay. Uh, okay, the blue one, as I told you earlier on, I use it on our bench, my own bench, my pillows, my even my handbags, okay? And then um handphone, 
my dog, okay, even in the toilet actually. So if you actually got after what you your usual <laughs> Big business, you can actually spray it. You can, you, it really removes the odor. I can tell you honestly. Because okay. if uh, we want to be honest, the aerosols that you spray, mm -hmm. they're just masking the stinkiness. Yes, yes. But the stinkiness is actually caused by bacteria and germs. We have to realize that. So when you spray this one, the air just gets cleared. So there will be a, like she said, there will be a little uh, chlorine smell. But you know, like yeah, when you actually yeah. go to the pool, right? You will have this. Chlorine smell. It's, okay. it's not so bad, okay? It's just, anyway, it's just for a few seconds anyway. That is when the action of the disinfectant killing the bacteria is, okay? So if there is this smell and it gets stronger, which means there is a lot of bacteria, all right? Okay, so any more questions? Okay, it's not exactly been 20 minutes, but let me show you. We are going back to the rocking green. Charlene is anything else for Charlene? Mm -hmm. Can we move on? Okay, we can go. Yeah, I know she is very happy. <laughs> can you see the water? The... Can you see? And it's not even been soaking for twenty minutes. Probably like ten, 10 minutes or so, yeah. and I didn't even put like a lot of powder, like a little bit only. And to be honest at home, I would still, I don't have a toothbrush right now, but I would normally still take a toothbrush, you know, and just uh, lightly scrub it. So I'm going to take it out and see uh, how much is it, it has improved from uh, 10 minutes ago. So just, just warm water and a little bit, a sprinkle of like, maybe a teaspoon of so. even. I think maybe about a teaspoon of uh, active wear rocking green and look at the water. I need to lower the light because okay, let me balancing game. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Look at the disgusting water. It's, oh my god. My okay, kids' shoes are so disgusting. Sorry. <laughs> kids' shoes. <laughs> so I'm going to take out this shoe and compare it to the other Okay, so normally I would still have a toothbrush, like I said, and I would rub it. Just rub it. And right now, I'll just give it a quick rub with my hand. It's not perfect. It, it has to soak a little bit longer than this. And also bear in mind, I've, keep, I've been keeping these shoes as a souvenir for a long, long time. So <laughs> keep safe, keep safe. No, just in case she doesn't have shoes anymore, you know, so that the spares them by. Yeah, just give it a quick rub. Okay, I can't do it really good today, but there is definitely a difference already. I'm just going to drain it. Disgusting. <laughs> there we go. See the effect. Okay, you already can see the difference. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of water inside. Hey, why did I fall off? There's a lot of water inside. It's okay. Just continue. Okay. Can you see? This one is still very grubby. Even the white sides. Look at the front part. Look at the front part. All right. This one looks slightly darker because it has been wet, but look, it's so much shinier. All right. The front part has to soak a little bit more. But look at the sides. Look, look at the white line here. Look at the white line. Can you look at this white line? It's not white. Right, yeah. Can you see? Can you see the light, the light, light purple color parts? It's a lot lighter right now. If you look at this one, how do I put it together? Can you see the difference? Can you see this? It's nice and shiny. And then this. Can you see this? Is it visible? Is it visible? Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, not very, but not very right. The but can you see the right one resting on the towel no. is the green one? Yes. Right? So this is a lot shinier, as you can see. Look, I just okay. Good. This one is a good comparison. Look at the S. Look at the S. Mm, mm. I, I'm not affiliated to Sketches, but we love Sketches shoes. 
But look at the S. Then look at this S. Look at the cleanliness of this one. And then you look at this grubby one that doesn't shine at all. All right. But it only has been soaking for 10 minutes. So we can't show you the full extent of the power of activewear. But if you look at this, look, this is very obvious. This is clean and this is unsoaked and dirty. Look. Yeah. Okay. So this is the power of rocking green active wear. I soak everything in this. <laughs> and I'll show you the water one more time. <laughs> what? I put my hand in this, you know. <laughs> Look. This just 10 minutes. Imagine if it has been in there for, usually I soak about 20 to 30 minutes because then it really gets pulled out and slightly warmer water as well. This is like lukewarm. So I would put the water to be slightly warmer than almost hot, but not totally hot anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So guys, like we mentioned before on our website, okay. All these go for 10% if you buy individual packs, but of course, it only applies to individual packs. If you buy the bundle packages, it's already on a super it's good deal. Oh, it's still on. It's still oh, I heard it's still on. Good. You get an additional 10 Shh, don't say we never say that. Yeah. Bundle packages quickly, until 1st of November still got an additional 10% off. The bundle package is really a very good deal, really. Okay. So today we have... A lovely Kira with her stretch wrap and Kilia with the doll wrap and then we ended off with our disinfectants and biodegradable hyperallergenic laundry detergent rocking green. I hope you guys enjoyed our product showcases today and we'll check in with you again tomorrow all the way until 31st of October. All right, so Mondays, Wednesdays and, and Sundays. Then we are off and Monday, uh, upcoming Monday, we have an um, auction fundraiser. But we'll tell you more in the upcoming days. So see you then. Bye-bye.